I think people who are into spitting, I'm sorry, are very disgusting. I just, ugh. for me, or if you're trying to, <laughs> very disgusting. Point blank, straight, period, we're done. Next. What is good, what is good, what is good? Welcome back, it is me, it is I, what's a K, AKA DJ bitch bitch, cause you know it's lit over here. If you are new to my channel, I'm gonna need you to subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you never miss a thing, cause you know it's lit over here. And make sure you follow me on my social media platforms. I am what's a the nail on Snapchat and what's a K underscore on Instagram. So today, as you can see from the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A for the queer community. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. These are hectic questions, hey? Alright. <laughs> um, okay, so I didn't go through these questions before. I just got them as they are. And we're going to go through them together. And I'm going to try and answer these as honest as possible because that's just how I like to live. Um, okay, so number one mm, is a weird smash face or orgasm face a total deal breaker? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I've actually experienced myself anyone who does things like that. So I guess I'm safe on that one. Thank God. But yeah. Uh, I can deal with weird, but not too weird. I can say that. Yeah. Uh, question number two. Did you enjoy having Jesus? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you enjoy having your eggs played with? Um, I assume, you know. Um, no, I think that's just weird. It's not. A, it No. Mm -mm. Um, question number three, have you ever hooked up with somebody based on their proximity to your iPhone, uh, grinder, for example? Yes, I have. Um, I think only, yes, I have. Um, in Zim, I think I did try those who were close by. They were not really my cup of tea, to be honest. Um, I think I only tried that once. Actually, I do know. I only tried that once since I came back. Didn't like it. It wasn't a very nice experience. Um, per the person was shorter than me. It was just all the things that I just don't like. Um, question number four. Would you hook up with a non-white? Yeah. People are people. Um, I do have, you know, certain... <sighs> I do this. Yeah, but what I wanted to say though, there's certain nationalities that I just don't feel <laughs> like, but that seems racist, which I'm not, but sometimes I'm open to it. It just depends on that particular individual. Um, but then there's some, you know, that are just not a thing for me, but people are people. That's just how I see it. It's just that they don't necessarily have to be my people. Um... Question number five, Julian Moore or Hayden Christensen, whatever, I don't know how to say that name, but I do believe I've seen Hayden before, obviously him. Uh, ladies, so I cannot answer that, so we're going to go to the next question, bros, BJ's or regular smashing? I think, Truth be told, it depends because I feel like going all the way with somebody, I must really be into that person and I am at a stage in my life where I don't just do things for the sake of doing them. So, actually, that actually just applies to both. It just depends. I don't just, I just don't. Um, question number eight, would you, what would you do if your partner cheated on you? Hmm. Well, that also depends. One, I always believe that, I've always told myself that should I be in that position, I refuse to ever acknowledge the side person because I feel like the moment you do that, you've given them power and they feel important. So whatever tantrum or whatever they intend on doing is just going to seem even more hectic. So I just avoid it by just not, you know, trying to approach them from the get go. And then if my partner cheated on me, um, I really don't know. I feel like I would know in that moment I have experienced being cheated on before. I felt um, 
broken of course but by the time i really had the hard proof i really didn't care because i'd been suspecting it for a while i just didn't have proof um i i'm a big believer on gut feelings and i had a feeling that something wasn't right you know from the get-go so well not from the get-go like you know halfway down the relationship but i just couldn't prove it and he always used to call me crazy so i can't say i would know what to do because in that moment i didn't do anything because i was accused of being crazy or making some stuff up so but i mean there's plenty of fish in the sea um there's lots of people who are trying to get some of this mukoko so what you saying what you saying right now we even got somebody who wants to get some of this mukoko in this very room <laughs> uh, what is the dirtiest text message you've ever received? Ha! This one I know very well. I didn't like it. It was just very cringe. I'm not even going to say it in Shona how it was said to me. But someone basically said to me, where are you so I can come and put it in? And I want you to know that Shona's a very Offensive. aggressive language. A very, very ag aggressive language. So that translated, even things like, you know, calling someone an asshole, you know, if you translate that to Shona, it just sounds very eesh, you know? It's just things that aren't done. If you could go out for dinner with any personality, who would it be? Very easily, I think I would pick Rihanna. I just find her very interesting. I love how she lives her life. You know, the way she wants to, not really according to how people, you know, or how society expects you to behave as a person, but you're choosing to live your life. And I just feel like she's a fun character. I love her fashion sense. I love her business mind. Um, I love that she doesn't do anything until she feels like, you know, she's really gathered herself together and put her all in it. She's very inspirational. Um, but yeah, it would definitely be her. Um, next question, who is in charge, the top or the bottom? Well. <laughs> next question. <laughs> I feel like personally it's usually the top but then um, I do also have my moments um, but I'm definitely not into some sort of you know submissive anything you know just anything that's just not for me next question do flamboyant guys give straight acting dudes a bad rep um, I don't think so because you're straight acting so you already know that you're not straight so it, it just doesn't make sense to me um, next question is there a sexual fetish that turns you off I think people who are into spitting I'm sorry are very disgusting I just ugh. for me or if you're trying to <laughs> very disgusting point blank straight period we're done next uh, describe your first kiss Truth be told, I cannot say I remember it. Um, I really don't, so that's that. Have you ever participated um, or been at to a smash party, bathhouse, or participated in a three-way or more? I have never done any of the above. I'm a child of God, you know? It's probably so much I shouldn't say because other people don't come for me, but it's cool. Um, would you ever have would you ever make a smash tape? No, because I feel like the way the world is going, people are very unpredictable and you never really know a person. For my own sense of security, for my future, I wouldn't do it. It's, it just sounds like a bad idea. And ju everyone has good moments, bad moments, good moods, bad moods, you, know, you never know. Someone may choose to do something really foul in that moment, so I just would never do it. Um, <clears throat> next question. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have you ever tried to shoplift? Yes, I have. I stopped it, got caught, and I learned my lesson. Um, but I feel like a lot of people go through that, so, you know, it's whatever. It's not something I'm proud of, but I have gone through that phase. Um, next question. Do you have a gag reflex? Um, yes, my body is very functional. Fun <laughs> very functional. Very functional. So yes, I do. Next question. Have you ever cried or had your heart broken by another guy? A couple of times. It's never been fun. It, 
it's always different but it still hurts somewhat similar or similarly um it's been a while thank god but i've also just been keeping to myself and you guys because you guys are my relationship um next question what would you do if you found out the person you were just about to get with has a dude or chick or vice versa ha this has happened to me enough the time since i came back enough um i did a story about something like this uh what did i call it it was in the the zim dating pool um i liked i really really liked um joaquin if you haven't watched that video you should definitely check it out um, I really really liked Joaquin beautiful person maybe not as honest you know or wasn't as honest in the beginning but I can actually tell you that we've become I wouldn't say good friends but familiar friends if that means anything um, but I've been in those situations and in those moments I told myself that was none of my business because I I had no part of this. I didn't know. I wasn't going to go and deal with all of that. However, for me to progress with that person, I had to put that on pause because I don't want half of anybody, you know? Because I'm also not giving half of myself. So it just doesn't make sense to me. And then the last question for the day is, who is your favorite character from Game of Thrones? My favorite character has to be, <laughs> Drogo, that per <laughs> that man is just oh yes. Mm. I think I've answered the question. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do make sure that you smash that subscribe button. If you already hadn't, please make sure you give it a like. And until next time, ciao.